Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, um, this is going to be the last video of the year and this is pretty much um, all my favorite products and all my least favorite products of 2017 that I just simply just did not either like or I either loved it. So stay tuned. I don't know how long this video is going to be so just bear with me um but the first thing i'm gonna mention um are the least favorite products first just because there are you know less products um the first thing i want to mention is the essence all about matte fixing compact powder and this is supposed to be a matte um powder but it did not leave my face matte at all it kind of broke my foundation apart as well too so I just didn't didn't care for it I mean it everybody's skin is different so you have to remember these products that I love or um, did not like are not going to be the same for everybody I did not like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara I did not like the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise for reasons that they crumble all over my under eye and pretty much um, ruin my concealer. The other mascaras that I did not like was the Wet n Wild 1 and 3 mascara. Um, it comes with the prime and seal and then it comes with the lengthen one and this weird one has fibers in it and I tested this out for like a good week and every time I try these um, this ma these two mascaras, so first how you're supposed to do it, I think you put um, the mascara, one coat, fibers, one coat, and then the mascara again. And this irritated my eyes so bad, I could not do it anymore. So I really did not care for these. Um, the next thing I want to mention... Um, is the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. I have very, very, very oily eyes. Two, three hours after I had my eyeshadow on, my makeup was already off. What it looks like, so I just stopped using it after I noticed it wasn't doing anything. Another thing I did not like, and I think I got this in my Ipsy bag, was the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. And it is waterproof. I believe it's like $1.99 or something. It has a super, super, super pointy tip, but like I just swatched it and mine is like barely anything there. I don't know if mine dried out or what, whatever the case was. Um, another thing I did not care for was the NYX HD Studio Photogenic um, Concealer. I don't know if I got a bad concealer or what, but there's barely anything in this and I, it's barely any type of coverage. I feel like it just really like wipes away. Um, another concealer that I did not like was the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot and Light. And this is the lightest one. Um, I did mention some of these products in a disappointing video that um, might or might not go up. I haven't decided yet, but I did not care for this. This doesn't even look like you apply any concealer on. It's really weird. But it's supposed to be smoothing complete coverage. Yeah, no. Another thing by It Cosmetics I did not like was the It Bye Bye Lines Foundation. This is supposed to be anti-aging, skin smoothing, invisible coverage, and no. This is like the most sheerest foundation ever and it does nothing for lines. And it broke apart the foundation everywhere and it broke my skin out so bad, I was so upset. Ugh. Three foundations that I did not like was the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I know I'm going to get so much backlash for these. The Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation and the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I'm going to explain why I did not like these products. The Hourglass, simply too freaking dry for my skin no matter what I do. Just too dry. That's one. The Urban Decay one, too dry for my skin. 
like extremely dry this is drier than the hourglass one now I have tried mixing these foundations with other foundations very hydrating foundations oils you name it I have tried it it just still did not work for me um, the last foundation is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir and I tried with this so much I tried and tried to make this one work it just simply didn't it broke my face out so bad I had bumps everywhere especially on my forehead and here everywhere and this is not my shade ivory I think this is the lightest shade but I always every time I had to use this I had to mix it with another uh, lighter foundation because um, they don't have a lighter foundation for these um, two highlighters that I wanted to mention were the Milani After Glow Strobe Light and the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlight in Look on the Bright Side. Look on the Bright Side. These are the highlighters and what they look like. This one, it leaves my face. Um, it shows all the texture on my face. It's ridiculous. Um, I did not care for it. And this one it's like it sticks to your face usually you can be able to kind of blend out your highlighter a little bit and be able to move it around no not this this literally sticks to your face one liquid lipstick I am going to mention that I did not like the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick in unicorn blood just didn't work for me it is too watery um, my sister has the same lipstick and hers is not like this one um, I just didn't work for me I guess I got a bad one that does happen sometimes with makeup but this is just so watery and it you know these are supposed to be long wearing and matte and I do have other you know um, JS liquid lipsticks and I don't have that issue but for some reason with this one it bleeds so bad and it's already gone not even within an hour it's gone um, two eyeshadow palettes that I want to mention are the ColourPop Press Powder Palette in Blow Me Away and the ColourPop Heavy Hitter. These two eyeshadow palettes, I know, I know, I know. These were one of the first eyeshadow palettes that came out. And um, I was like, oh my god, ColourPop has eyeshadow palettes. This is Blow Me Away. These just did not work for me. I have tried to make them work. They are such stunning shades. But um, they are very, um, they're, they, they're very patchy. They don't blend out the way that they should. And I have tons of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Some of them are in my favorites that I'm about to mention. And they don't do what these do. They're so patchy. They don't blend out right. They don't last long on the lids either. And this is the heavy hitter one. So this is more like, you know, everyday type of look but these just didn't work for me so um now i'm gonna skip over to favorites and i'm gonna talk about skincare first um three moisture four moisturizers i can say that i have been obsessed with is this is the curel hydrotherapy wet skin moisturizer and i have mentioned this in a previous um favorites of the month video and this moisturizer is amazing let me tell you this is a drugstore moisturizer and if you have severe dry skin please please check this out they I know for sure they sell this at Walgreens I don't know if, where else they sell it but I actually got this in my Walmart beauty box and let me just tell you hands down one of the best moisturizers I've ever tried Second one I love, 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 love is Lush Moisturizer in, um, it's called Skin Drink. And this is a moisturizer where if you are like Saharan Desert Dry, this is going to be your best friend. Um, I have the Coffee Mask Moisturizer that I want to throw in here too, but I don't have any more. And, um, so you guys have seen it in previous favorites videos so I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna you know add it in but I am gonna mention it but it is included in this favorites video 
Um, it's just empty and I kind of threw away the tub which is dumb because when you collect these if you collect I think like five um, you get like a free blush product I don't know um, the other two moisturizers is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Hydrogenous Hydrogen Genius normal to dry skin and the Smashbox photo finish primerizer and this is a primer and moisturizer in one and I really like that this has a hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and these are both amazing for dry skin if you are a dry skin girl definitely pick these two up I actually mix these two together when it is time for me to put makeup on even without makeup and I have had these both for a very long time already and they have still like there's still a lot in them so I don't have to worry about um, picking any up um, I'm gonna quickly mention my favorite setting sprays of the year um, I think my number one hands down setting spray um, my top three that are my always go to I use these every single day the Smashbox photo finish primer water I spray this on my face religiously before I put my makeup on after my makeup this is a dry skin saver if your face looks super caked on spray this trust me you will not regret it the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 um, this is a replenishing primer and setting spray this has coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers this is also amazing this is also amazing if your foundation looks caked on spray this bad boy on this is another one these are my two concoctions right here that I always spray on right before my makeup and after my makeup the last one that I want to mention is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray 16 Hour Wear. This stuff is so amazing that I have like four more of these that are backups. Just because this is so amazing. First of all, it smells amazing. The, the spray is amazing. It's $10. So helps with the cakiness. I feel like this is very hydrating on the skin. Um, I would kind of think, I kind of think that this is a dupe for, um, um, what is that spray called? The MAC one? I forgot what it's called. Fix Plus. There you go. The MAC Fix Plus. I would really, really suggest this if you don't have the money to buy the MAC Fix Plus. This is a awesome, awesome dupe for the MAC Fix Plus. And um, the last setting spray I'm going to mention, this is also $10 and this is also a drugstore. And this is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. This setting spray is amazing, especially if you want your makeup to really lock in and be matte all day this is definitely a go-to i love this setting spray so much um my sister actually introduced this to me so shout out to evelyn hey girl um the next thing i'm gonna get into is nail polishes you know i have to mention my girl um kathleen lights came out with her own brand this year um i'm so excited for her she has came such a long way in the youtube world um you know, I have been following Kathleen Lights since when she was under 100,000 subscribers. And I'm so ecstatic and happy that she has came such a long way in the YouTube community. You know, that she's even came such a long way that she created her own nail polish brand, which is called KL Polish. And this is what Winter um, Glamourland looks like. And I actually have tuxedo mask and I have this glitter one on the tips of my nails and it looks so stunning and I'm so glad that she came out with a black nail polish because she had every color that there possibly is and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and then finally the other day she released one and you know your girl had to buy that one and I bought the white one too but these nail polishes let me just start off by saying are so amazing they are so affordable. They are $8.50 a piece, but if you buy this whole bundle, um, you do save some money. This is $45 for six nail polishes, which is an awesome, awesome price. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about these polishes. They last a long time on the nails. Um, longer than any other brands that I've tried. Essie, um, Sally Hansen. Um, I forgot other brands at the drugstore, but these are so long wearing I love them they last such a long time um, 
I really, really, really love them. Um, I'm going to jump into foundations. Um, my favorite is the Makeup Forever HD Stick. You want a flawless um, foundation, this will be your go-to every time. Um, hydrating foundations that I would have to say is the Too Faced Born This Way in Snow. And the number seven lift illuminate foundation. I love mixing these two together. They are both such amazing foundations. Um, they are so good for dry skin. Um, I absolutely love these foundations. Is the LA Girl Pro Coverage, which the only downfall I do not like is that I cannot use this alone because this is um, too dark for me, and this is the lightest shade, which is fair. Um, the Wet and Wild Photo Focus is. Uh, an amazing foundation and the bare minerals bare pro has became my new BFF so far these three foundations have been amazing for my skin and all of these six foundations have been my lifesaver they are not drying um, they are very hydrating on the skin favorite highlighters has to be the Kathleen lights um, highlighting palette she collabed with makeup geek Um, I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like. This is the packaging and whoops, this is the colors. She did such a great selection for everybody's skin tone. I always mix these two together. This one is too dark for me, but I do use this sometimes for an eyeshadow. And the this highlighter does not, it is not chunky, um, it does not um, emphasize any pores whatsoever on my face. This has become like definitely a top favorite of mine. Um, a, another favorite highlighters, um, I want to say these are my top three. And this is the Hourglass Ambient uh, Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette and this is what they look like now these are definitely blinding highlights and I can actually mix all three of these together and th this highlight is a stunning palette um, my top second is the sleek makeup in solstice and this has been talked about so much this year like this is what it looks like. Such a beautiful highlighting palette. The Stilla Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. And this is what it looks like. Um, it is that putty highlighter that I talked about in one of my recent videos. And this is also a very blinding highlight. Ofer um, Cosmetics collab with Nikki Tutorials. And this is the Glazed Donut Highlighter. Now this, I have to say, out of all of them, this is the most blinding highlight. I'm just going to swatch this one. That's just one swatch. This one has also been really popular this year, and I absolutely love it. Especially if, I, if I'm if i just like going to run errands or something, and I don't want my highlight, you know, blinding everyone, and I just want a subtle highlight. This is such a beautiful highlight, because... Oh my god, I can't even explain it. Like, it doesn't even look like a highlighter. I can't even swatch it for you because it won't look like a highlighter. But on the skin, it is so beautiful. It makes your skin look so glowy. It does not emphasize texture whatsoever. I have just been really obsessed with it. And it is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. This is such a stunning, stunning highlight for an everyday highlight. Um... But yeah, like I said, this has really been one of my favorites. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. This is, um, I'm going to throw this in there because I do like all of it. This is by the brand Flower, which is Drew Barrymore's brand. And this is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. This is what it looks like. I love her packaging. It is always to die for. The only thing I don't really care for in this um, little um, thing, this little contouring palette is the blush i'm sorry i don't typically go for blush colors like this but the bronzer and the highlight oh the highlight is stunning look at that let's get started with eyeshadow palettes because that's going to be the most probably so the first one i have to mention hands down um that you know was crazy 
crazy, crazy, crazy popular. I think she sold over 1 million palettes, supposedly. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette with, um, she collabs with Morph. And she has her cute little pictures on the back. This palette was so talked about this year. This palette is a palette that if you have this palette, you don't need any other palette because you pretty much have every color selection that you can possibly want or have. This is such a good palette. You have every color in here. You have your purples, your blues, your reds, um, your yellow mustardy colors, your highlight brow bone colors, pinkish, um, a little bit of gold, black, brown. Like you have every color possible. You don't need any other color. Um, my second favorite palette was the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights. Now I know this did come out at the end of the year, but this is included in 2017 because that is when it came out. But this is such a stunning package. Like let's just talk about the packaging. Hello. And I like that the shades are added on the back. And this is also a palette that has a wide variety of colors so um, you could do so many different looks with this and I really like that she incorporated that in her palette um, you can do so many so many looks with this palette and um, this palette I don't know the formula um, you know when they collab with somebody I don't know if the formula changes or what it is but I, this so far um, is the best ColourPop shadows that I've tried in Kathleen Light's palette. The next one I want to mention is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. This was also a very, very popular um, eyeshadow palette this year. Especially, my palette looks beat up. Especially for warm toned lovers like me. This is such a great palette. Um, you pretty much have every color you need in here except they don't have black but they do have a dark brown which i like that they did that um but this is such a beautiful palette like if you're a warm tone lover you don't need any other palette you have this one. Oh yeah another favorite of mine um and i have majority of these palettes but i just want to mention this one um and this is the juvia's uh place masquerade mini palette this is such a stunning 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 eyeshadow palette look at this you could do so many different looks with these now i have the nubian palette and i have the nubian 2 and these are just so stunning like i'm obsessed with these palettes the pigmentation on these are real like i'm just going to show you one swatch look at that pigmentation um these eyeshadow these eyeshadow palettes are so stunning they are so affordable um, these um eyeshadow palettes actually surprised me and this is the elf summer breeze eyeshadow palette and this is the elf mad for matte holy smokes eyeshadow palette which i am going to be doing a video on this really soon these are $10 eyeshadows, and these are just such an amazing, amazing, amazing... I want to swatch this color because it looks so pretty. But these are such an affordable eyeshadows, and um, I've tried some of Elf's eyeshadows before, and I didn't care for them. But Morph 3502 Second Nature Palette, and this is your typical warm tone eyeshadow palette. If you have this palette, you don't need any other warm tone eyeshadow palette. Let me just say that right now. I'm not going to open it. This, is, this palette has been so popular this year. Um, I liked that they included all of the, on the little piece of paper. But this is definitely your typical warm tone palette. And... The pigmentation on this palette is definitely amazing. Um, the top one that I really have been loving is the Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D. Now, I was lucky enough to find this bad boy at TJ Maxx um, for a discounted price. They are so amazing. They are so pigmented. And they blend so effortlessly on the skin. Um... um 
other contour shades I've really been obsessed with is, of course I've been using a lot, is the Smashbox um, Contour Palette. Um, especially this shade right here. It is perfect for, you know, fair skinned girls like me. And I have really been obsessed with the Hula Light by Benefit. This bronzer is so amazing, especially for fair skinned tones like me. If you're looking, um, now I'm going to show you a alternative for, um, fair skinned. This is by Catrice. And this is the Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. This I believe was like $2.99 or $3.99 and this is in um, 010 Ashy Radiance. And let me just tell you that the highlight and contour in this palette are both stunning. I will swatch the highlight for you. The highlight is really pretty. That's this one. And the contour in this is so beautiful, especially for fair skin tone girls. Um, so affordable it lasts so long on the skin um i use this all the time still and i have just really really been obsessed with it um another bronzer that i have been obsessed with is the milani baked bronzer in dolce 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 whatever this is so whoops so beautiful on the skin it gives your skin a beautiful beautiful glowy look and i really love that um i'm gonna jump into concealers and i'm just gonna tell you my top ones i feel like i'm missing one um my favorite 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 this year and i know you're gonna be like what is the nars um the nars concealer pot in light to vanilla it looks like this this is a dupe for the mac um paint pots i love this concealer it is so full coverage and it's a not, it does not leave my under eyes dry which i have that problem a lot and it is just so 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 good it doesn't crease or anything like that i love it um my next favorite of course is the Tarte Shape Tape. The reason why this was not my number one is because I cannot use the Tarte Shape Tape alone. This is too dry for my under eyes because I have such dry skin. So I always have to mix this with something else and that is why the NARS one was my favorite. It is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair and I have really really been enjoying this concealer. This is very 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 similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. The only Pro for me is that it does not dry out my under eyes and I'm loving that. I'm going to jump into my top mascaras for this year, which is the Flower Brands Zoom In Ultimate M Mascara. I have mentioned this in my favorites before and it is that 3-in-1 mascara where the wand is like this and then you, hope you can see this, you zoom Not so oh, you zoom in like that, and what that does is it gives it volume. This is such a good drugstore mascara. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't clump. Nothing like that. Another drugstore that I have been obsessed with, and I heard Casey Holmes talk about so much in her videos, is the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. This is really good, does not flake or anything. Um, my top two high brands is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and the Marc Jacobs um, Nior Mascara, that's what's called, Nior, whatever. These are my top high brand mascaras. Love, 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 love them. Let's jump into blushes. I have really, 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 truly have been obsessed with the Burt's Bee Blush in Bare Peach. This is such a... I always go for peach blushes. You guys know this. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blush color. If my camera will focus. And um, the Essence Satin Touch Blushes in Satin Coral and Satin Love. These are also, also amazing, amazing, amazing blushes. So affordable. I believe they're like $2.99. And they are just beautiful. This is Set in Love and that this one is Set in Coral. They are so beautiful. 
Um, I actually mix Satin Coral and the Burt's Bees um, blush all the time and it looks so beautiful on my face. And um, another favorite of this year has been the LA Girl Just Blushing Blushes in Just Natural and Just Playful. These, um, this is more of a corally brush and this is more of like a, um, I don't know how to explain the color, but they're beautiful and they look beautiful on the skin. They look so natural and I think that's what I really like about them. Favorite powders, of course. Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Powder is hands, hands down my favorite powder of the year. This stuff is amazing, 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 amazing for um, covering um, your pores, your under eyes, like sometimes I even apply, apply this all over my face. I love that it smells like bananas. I've used so much of it. The only thing I don't like is it does kind of leave a yellow cast so I kind of can't apply this all over my face all the time. And the second one that I have been loving too is the Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder in Fair. It just looks white. This also is really good for covering pores and everything and hiding all your dirty little secrets. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thing that I did want to mention was the um, ColourPop Supernova, Supernova Shadow in Walk of Fame and the Stilla Glitter in Smoldering, Cat, Cat, um, Sm Smoldering Satin. These are amazing. Um, they're, they don't get all over your face. I really love that because I do not like glitters that get everywhere. I'm going to jump into my favorite lippies. Um, I'm going to start with these two. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now I have majority of all these collections but I'm only just going to show these two just for show. And these two liquid lipsticks are lipsticks that if you um, are not planning on reapplying your lippies all day, these will not go anywhere. I'm trying to get them to focus. There we go. I typically don't like applying lipstick over and over and over again. It, to me, it's annoying. I'd rather get a matte liquid lipstick that's not going to budge anywhere. Um, also an amazing brand. Of course, you know I am a huge ColourPop um, fan and supporter. I love, love, love ColourPop's matte lipsticks and I love their satin and I even love their glosses. Um, but for the year, I would have to say the Dream Street collection is my favorite. This is Moonchild, Revere or Revere, I don't know how to pronounce it, and Dreamy. Um, I love her satin lips. I have Re Revere or Revere, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, on the lips right now. It is such a stunning color as you can tell. And ColourPop's lippies are $6. You cannot beat them and they last so long on the lips. They don't dry. Um, you know, one thing I have to say is if you notice that a product is not working out for you, give it a few more tries. Maybe exfoliate your lips, apply a lip balm before you just completely throw it in the bag and say, no, this is garbage. I always, always, always test out products a few times before I make my final decision because there could be other reasons why they're not working out for me. Um, another lip brand that I have really, really been enjoying is Burt's Bee, and this is in Nile Nude. This um, Burt's Bee's lipsticks are so hydrating. I'm gonna swatch this for you. There. That is in the shade Nile Nude. This color is so stunning, and these lipsticks are so comfortable on the li lips. This is a lipstick that I do not mind applying over and over again because they feel so, 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 so comfortable on the lips. Um, I hope your guys' 2018 is filled with so much blessings, so much positive energy, so much great things happen for each and every one of my subscribers, my supporters. I am so grateful and thankful for everyone who has been through this journey with me. Um, and I'm so thankful for my family, my friends, and get to subscribe, like, and um, share my channel. And don't forget get to hit bleh. don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.